Hey guys, I'm Jorrit from Yeti and we're here at Fly Supply explaining you some new stuff about the Yeti coolers and in this one we're gonna explain a, a little bit the, the terminal isolation which is, is of course very important and very good with the Yeti coolers. If you do it well you have ice for days in, in the cooler. But how does it work? Well, as, you, as I already explained in a, a video before all the Yeti coolers are roto molded and they have the fat wall design and very thick permafrost isolation pressure injected in the mold. So the whole thing is damn strong, but also very good, of course, in the thermal isolation, which means, of course, it works both ways. Yes, you have ice for days, but also on the other side, if, it's, if you put something warm in there, you make the cooler warm and, uh, for example, a brisket or, you know, after barbecuing some meat, and you put it in, then also that is um, uh, preserved, right? The, you, you can have very uh, warm temperatures in there too. For now, we'll just focus on the ice, of course, because you want to bring some, some, some cool beers, your food, the fish you catch uh, along with you. The, the thing and what we'll explain uh, later on is, is, you know, so many steps on how to stack a cooler properly for if, you, if you're doing a, a multiple day trip. What's very useful for that uh, on, the first, uh, on the first side is the, the, the Yeti ice. So what's the, the story here? The thing is, uh, the, 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 the Yeti ice packs, you, should, you just, uh, just should stack them on the, on the bottom of your cooler. So, for example, here is a Tundra 45 size. And what you'll need is a four pound block of Yeti ice and a two pound block of Yeti ice. And as you can see, you can store them in here. And it's just, it's covering the bottom. And that's it. You just need the Yeti ice packs to match the size of the, you know, the bottom size of your cooler. For the 45, it's a, it's a four pound and a two pound. Uh, way before your trip, you, you have these stored in the freezer, right? So these, now they're still fluid over one night in the cooler or in the freezer. These are solid, right? Very icy, icy cold. So you have them in there. And the cool thing is, especially for a multiple day trip, and we'll explain that later, you're gonna add some ice blocks, right? You wanna top it off with ice. So what happens and how do these ice packs really benefit your, you know, your ice retention? Um, at some point, you know, your, your ice blocks, the, your normal, the, the ice will melt, right? And water will start dripping down to the bottom of the cooler. But the cool thing is that these actually still, you know, these blocks have really the freezing cold the, um, in there, right? So these, the droplets will hit the ice pack and melt again, or freeze, sorry, freeze again uh, to the cooler, uh, to the ice pack. So what you'll notice, even sometimes even after a day or after two days uh, during the trip, you can't even get these ice packs out of the cooler anymore. They are literally packed in a new layer of ice. And because your melting ice refreezes on the ice packs, this of course extends the ice time, you know, the ice, the ice life in your, in your cooler. All right, so um, let's start with some tips to maximize uh, the ice capacity for your cooler. And it all starts with pre-chilling because uh, you can imagine if you decide in the morning, like, hey, I'm going for a five day trip and uh, let's take the cooler out of my hot garage and just pouring in, start pouring in all the stuff. You already, you know, that's a minus one because the inside of the cooler is of course pretty warm. So first thing you wanna do is you know the night before you leave and pack for your trip just pre-chill your cooler and and doesn't matter either you take some ice from the freezer already or you have some other you know the ice packs and you just throw them in close it and let it stand overnight so the inside of the cooler is already nice very cold right so then the morning of the trip you start packing your cooler of course like i explained before ideally you have the yeti ice packs and this is a tundra 45 so i'll need a four pound and a two pound block frozen and you put it in there on the bottom and then especially for a multiple day trip you want to have as much ice and and stuff in there uh, as possible because enemy number one for ice is the outside air because you know you can imagine if you just fill the cooler up to here with some some cans and food etc uh, there's already half of it is, 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 is air and every time you're on the trip and you open the cooler, you know, the hot 
the hot air of outside can go can go in there and just you know, start you start melting the ice. So the fuller you can get it, the better for many many days of ice. So the ice packs are in there, and then you'll start with a nice layer of ice blocks, right? Chuck them in. Two of these small bags will do. So this is your base, right? Nice and cold. And then it's, you know, you start stacking. So either cans of beer, bottles. And then, you know, go on and on for the, for the demo, uh, we just uh, leave it here. But then, you know, top another layer of, uh, layer of ice. And then either you have a second layer of, um, of cans and, uh, and, and bottles for the drinks. And then to top it off, you, you either have, you know, of course, some fish, some lunch. lunch. Uh, you just uh, top it over and, and as much ice as possible and close it. And of course, as you can imagine, if you're on the trip, don't leave your cooler open if you grab something. Just, you know, open it, take what you need and close it again. That will save a lot of uh, ice, of course. And if you don't want to use, you know, top it off completely with ice blocks and you don't have that much to fill it with, at least get some cool towels or any, a blanket or something and just use that as your top layer just to cover it all and to make sure that, you know, there's no air trapped inside. So that's it, eyes for days.